Miss Emily from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Welcome to another episode of Kids Connect, Bible stories for preschoolers. Our goal is to help your kids connect to their Savior Jesus as we gather each week around God's Word. Have you ever had a decision or you're thinking, what should I do? And it felt like you couldn't decide between the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. You know, in TV, sometimes they show that by a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other shoulder, and they're fighting to figure out who's going to get you to do the next thing, the right thing or the wrong thing, like this. You should take your sister's toy. That's not nice. She's playing with it. But you want it right now. Take it. Here's another one. Maybe this one sounds familiar. Remember, you told your mom you would clean up your dishes. Dishes can wait, it's time to play. Do what your mom asks first, then play. <laughs> Do you ever feel like that? Where you maybe have an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder and they're fighting to get you to do the right or the wrong thing? Well, Sometimes naughty ideas do seem fun. It's like they're fighting a battle for you. And Satan really does try to get us to sin. Satan even tried to get Jesus to sin. Today, we open the Bible to Matthew chapter 4 to learn the story of Jesus being tempted. Let's pray. Dear God, as I hear the words you say, bless my life in every way. Amen. Today we're going to read our story from the Read and Share Bible by Thomas Nelson Publishers. Jesus Tempted by Satan Soon, God's Spirit led Jesus away from the river and into the desert. Jesus wanted to pray and think about what God wanted him to do next. Jesus fasted. That means he didn't eat, so he got very hungry. Then the devil, Satan, appeared. Satan knew that Jesus was tired and hungry. Turn these rocks into bread, Satan told Jesus. Jesus knew that Satan was trying to get him to do something wrong. Jesus had studied God's word, so he remembered what he had learned from the scriptures. He said, a person does not live by eating bread alone. A person lives by doing everything the Lord says. Satan doesn't stop picking on people with just one try. He was not through with Jesus yet. Keep reading to see what happened next. On top of the temple, Satan took Jesus to Jerusalem and stood him on the very top of the temple. The temple is where God's people worshipped. If you are God's son, jump down from this high place, Satan said. It is written in the scriptures that God's angels will catch you. That was not a smart thing for Satan to suggest, and Jesus knew it. Jesus answered by saying, It is also written in the scriptures, Do not test God. It is foolish to tease or test God. Testing God means doing very risky things that might get you hurt. The kingdoms of the world. That sneaky devil Satan had one more test up his sleeve. He took Jesus to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. Satan said, Bow down and give honor to me, and I will give you all these things. Jesus had an answer ready. Go away from me. It is written in the scriptures, you must worship only the Lord God. So Satan went away. Even though we can't see Satan, he tries to get us to do things that are wrong. What are some of the things Satan tries to get you to do? Satan keeps trying to get us to sin, but Jesus already won. Even when we do sin, Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection means that he won the battle against Satan, and we have Jesus' victory. For today's song, we're going to sing This Little Light of Mine. If you have a flashlight handy, you can grab it to be your light. Otherwise, you can use your finger to be your light, and you can pretend that that is your flashlight shining your light of faith. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. Whoa. 
the Bible. Almost soon. We're going to hide it under a bush. That's the next verse. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine. Yeah. When, when you put your hand on it, sometimes it turns red. It does. All right, we're not going to hide it under a bushel. This time we're going to say, don't let Satan blow it out. Can you do that? Here we go. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let no. Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. Let's pray. Dear God, Satan keeps trying to make me sin. I'm sorry for the times I give in and I am naughty. Please forgive me. Thank you that Jesus already won the battle against Satan for me. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Kids Connect. We hope to see you next week, Tuesday at 10 for another episode. Goodbye. If you're interested in devotions for older kids or adults or want to watch next week's Kids Connect, like us on Facebook or connect with us on Instagram, YouTube, or our website at wellsredeemer.org. God bless and keep you this week. You are loved.